Welcome to QNOS Coachetta. Today's question comes from Cora Reads as follows. From a scientific point of view, why are sprinters so heavy and long distance runners so thin? Coachetta.net Like and subscribe for more. Very interesting question that, and one that is actually relatively simple to answer. Sprinters are so heavy because they've got huge, bulky, but powerful muscles. Because in order to be able to do well in sprinting, you need to have explosive power and lay down that power over a relatively short period of time. In other words, you need to be able to complete your event before you go hypoxic. Because the greatest factor as far as sprinting is concerned is ox oxygen absorption from your breath, oxygen delivery, and having large and powerful enough muscles to be able to give you maximum acceleration. Because sprinting is all about acceleration. Um, the weight that you are is relatively secondary as far as that is concerned. It's just simply how much power you can put down within how short a space of time. Whereas when it comes to uh, long distance runners, marathon runners, ultra runners and such like, it becomes the amount of power that you can put down over an extended period of time relative to your body weight. In other words, how many watts per kilogram of body weight can you put out? And in, in order to be able to increase the number of watts per kilogram that you're able to put out, it's either increase the number of watts that you can put out or decrease your body weight. And if you do the decreasing of your body weight, even if the watts come, total watt, wattage output comes down, but by decreasing your body weight, your watts per kilo ratio goes up. And bearing in mind that if your body weight is lighter, you can push out that no number of watts per kilogram over an extended period of time. And bearing in mind if you're talking marathons, you're talking two and a quarter to two and a half hours of pushing out a high number of watts per kilogram which is something that you wouldn't be able to do if you're carrying all that extra mass that a sprinter has in terms of muscle bulk. Yes, a sprinter would be able to put out more watts over the opening 100 meters, 200 meters of the marathon, but then they'd completely fade because they're simply carrying too much weight for their watts per kilogram ratio to be anywhere near that of a long distance runner. I hope that makes a whole lot of sense to you. Uh, post your comments, questions, criticisms in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it out amongst your friends. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And last but my name is Lisa. Until the two of us meet again, stay carved up for the win. See you next time. Cheers.